Welcome back to Diecast Resurrection. As promised, I was going to do a midweek junkyard reline unboxing, give you guys an idea what's coming up on the channel. This is a big lot I got off eBay, and I was a little bit concerned at the size of the box. I was hoping they weren't all packed loose, but uh, upon opening, looks like most of the good ones are bagged individually, so that makes me happy. So let's get started. First car, Custom Cougar. It looks like a Hong Kong car. It looks so nice, like you wouldn't even want to restore it. And then you see that this car has got a little bit of acid damage up on the front fender, which bums me out. Hopefully the, the actual casting isn't damaged too much, but it's fiercely corroded there. Hopefully we can fix it up. Here we go. We got a Ford J car. Needs some love and missing some parts, but it's got good glass. Literally just needs some wheels and a trunk. I don't or Sorry, a hood. I don't know if I have a hood. I'm going to have to look. I love the factory decals on this thing. Very cool. Next, we have half of a custom Firebird. Still cool, still cool. I got a bag here. Probably got an interior for it. Definitely got wheels. Gonna need a windshield. Still a good start. We got a custom T Bird. Missing a hood. Glass looks nice. One little crack. Also has some factory decals on it. That should be a prime candidate if I can find a hood. Probably, I'm sure there's reproductions out there. No big deal. Next, we got a little hot heap. Now, this one's pretty nice. I don't even know if it warrants any kind of paint job I think this one might just get a windshield and some new wheels and maybe a polish and put that guy right on the shelf next we have a McLaren M6A it's got potential it's got potential missing some parts glass looks decent See if anyone's making reproduction hoods or if I can find another donor car possibly. We have another custom T-Bird. Black vinyl top. One little chip in the glass. Prime car for restoration. I kind of like it just how it is, but I do have the, uh, the root beer color, so we should be able to fix that up. No problemo. Next we have a little Maserati. Now this thing's hood. It looks like it's broken in half. Glass is melted right out of it. Still has potential. If I can find the parts. We have another custom T-Bird. Also missing its hood. Those things must be prone to losing their hoods, I guess. Pretty cool car. Hong Kong. Nice gold color. Gonna have to order hoods in bulk, apparently. Next, we got a Red Baron. Needs a little bit of loving. Helmets there. And the interior is kind of missing out of it, or melted, or smashed, or something. That'll be a restoration for sure. Got another custom Firebird. Sweet car. We got the interior on this one. Missing some wheels. Looks like someone tried to do a little bit of painting in the grill there. It's all right. I still like it. Next, we have a Ford MK5. Missing its hood. They're always missing their hood. It's got nice glass though, so if I can just find a hood, 
We are good. Speaking of missing hoods, Porsche 917. Cool car. Glass is a little bit cracked. Headlights are there. Hopefully we could bring that one back from extinction. Next we have a Mercedes 280SL. Glass is beautiful. Needs wheels, needs a hood. Needs a paint job. I'm gonna have to order that color. It's a really nice color green and I don't have it at the moment, but no big deal. That's just one small PayPal transaction away from getting that color. What's we got here? Beautiful. I love these. Custom Volkswagen. Glass looks really nice. Missing headlights. Needs a little bit of loving, but I would definitely spend time on fixing up Volkswagen bugs. Oh, here's a good one. Nitty gritty kitty. Awesome. Can't wait to work on this one. I knew this one was in the lot, so I ordered decals already in anticipation. So we'll definitely see that one coming up on the channel. This is going to be a long video, so I might do this in two parts, just to ease the burden a little bit. Next, we have another custom Volkswagen, Hong Kong. This one isn't quite as nice. Looks like it's someone melted the glass out of it, probably with a magnifying glass. Looks like the motor is a little bit melted. Headlights are there. Very sweet little car. We have another hot heap. This one's just as nice as the other one. I don't know if I would even touch the paint on this. Maybe clean up and polish. Windshield and wheels. Call it good. Yeah, I don't I don't think I'd repaint that. I think I'd just leave it alone. Not take it apart. Next we have custom Corvette and checking inside for the original color looks like it's a rose spectra flame so that's pretty rare car white interior white interior that one's gonna be a beauty that might be our first red line restoration to be honest because I know I can make that car just amazing again Next, we've got another hot heap. This one has a smidgen fragment of a windshield. Motors melted. Again, pretty decent looking paint. It's a cool little cars. These things seem to uh, be fairly chip resistant, or maybe kids just didn't like them. I think they look awesome. We've got another Porsche 917. This one has a hood. Unfortunately, the glass is missing. Big split right up the windshield. Nice car, prime for restoration. Hopefully I can find replacement glass. We've got a Silhouette. Decent shape. Um, big split up the front windshield, the bubble, the bubble dome. A guy could get away with just putting wheels on this one probably and maybe quick polish. It's pretty, you know, we've seen a lot worse than this, that's for sure. We have another Red Baron.
This one's a prime candidate for a restoration. It's missing a lot of paint. Everything looks to be there. Need some wheels. Needs a little zinc. Overall, decent looking car. Next car, what do we got here? Ooh. You got a heavy Chevy, and I am very surprised to even get a, a Camaro in any condition in a junkyard lot because someone could have sold this individually to a Camaro enthusiast. It's got a little bit of oxidization coming through the side of the car, so this is going to be one of those special gems that we're going to take a lot of time to really make nice. And hopefully we do a good job. The glass is just perfect. So this is, this will be one of the flagship restorations for this channel, I think. Because it's got huge potential. 